Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Chandra Awesome. In this today's video, we will discuss about the curve tools in OnShapeCAD software. And this is the final uh, tutorial of this OnShapeCAD software guys. And this is the final tools and I almost completed all tools, uh, maybe extend except the feature scripts and maybe the face blank. Uh, okay and after this tutorials um, I'm going to teach you about the other features of OnShape CAD software just like a, another feature scripts or the other icons what we are using here with OnShape CAD software and I hope and I will also teach you how to make these uh, big designs just not like the tutorials I'm going to teach you a professional models so it will help you and after this cat software i will take a gap and and i wanted to give your suggestion what tutorial what kind of software tutorial should i make in next upcoming videos please suggest me and let me know guys so now let's start the tutorial and let's work with the tools so guys we are working with the surface tools and this is the Right behind the surface tools, these are the called curve tools, and these are all worked with the 3D parts. Okay, and I will let explain you one by one. So last comes with the helix. Helix is all is might already know about you, but this gonna be updated with the another section in on shape pop up window. I mean dialog box. Okay, as uh, in the previous tutorials, we are working with this helix tool. That is only work with this uh, cylinder or only cylinder side and not with the another another two sections. So let's work with the one cylinder or cone. So the cylinder or cone section it is going to make the helix path along with the shapes. Just for example, uh, let me extrude a let me make a cylinder. <coughs> not this one let me sell this part and extrude it uh, some more distance no, that's it okay now sell the helix it is asking cylinder or cone now we are working with the cone just sell the, sell the cylinder and you can see the helix curve is automatically generated around the surface of cylinder and we can perform, you can change the directions of the input type, you can also change the input type that is called turns or pitch or turns and pitch. We have according to your usage, you can work with this uh, input type. Okay, let's keep for self keep it as a turn, and you can also change the direction in which way the helix should start and elongate. So and uh, we have the start uh, condition also that is first it is starting angle or static start point so start angle when self start angle it is asking from which angle it should be start so basically the cylinder have 360 degrees right so it can give from 90 degrees it should start so when you see the see the shape you can see this is from the 90 degrees or you can also give 180 degrees see from 180 degrees it is going to start here and going to be end here where is the end there is the start this is the this, this one and this one and you can also work with the start condition with the point also as for example we need a point here so for that point we need to add some point here let me select that uh, visible the sketch edit the sketch again so I just want to add some point here now select this randomly okay now select the helix tool at the edge and we need to work with the start point right so select this point see now it is going to be work here so from this point only the helix is going to be start and when it 
change the direction is not going to be work because of it is starting with the point and it can't change the direction when you work with the point but when you work with the angle you can change the direction as per you want okay because of here it is asking height but when you start with the angle you can differentiate the angle as per you want okay it is just the direction and it is certain uh, the end condition also is available that is called height so the helix is formed according to the uh, cylindrical height only okay that is the end condition here and you can also add end point just like uh, how we work it with this uh, helix star you can also like this you can manipulate the starting condition and end condition as of one helix and we have target revolutions you can give how many turns you want or revolutions as you want okay and you can also compute revolutions so these are these computed revolutions are just like a mm, uh, these are com you can't change this i think because uh, here these are the this computer revolutions are computed by the uh, software itself because we can't we can't actually give the exact five turns it should maintain is some standard points right so in this way it can show in the standard points and you can also change the direction also in this way you can work with this okay and you can also change the direction of a helix clockwise or anti clockwise just like uh, how to work with the uh, uh, scale tools okay so in this way you can also change the uh, orientation of helix so you can uh, if you want to show the start and end profile you can show that there from showing that you can change the work with the other and condition points okay so that is how to work with the uh, uh, cylinder uh, section of helix now let's work with the cone okay so for that cone just uh, edit the extrude okay uh, wait Okay guys, let's make the cylinder again. Hit the extrude tool and use the draft tick box and change the direction and give angle how much you want. Then you can get the cone shape. Now the thing make it cone or uh, uh, 20 degrees. Okay, now click OK. Now we got the cone shape now. Now just going to sell the helix again. In, before we are working with the helix tool, now going to work with the cone shape. And you can see we got a cone shape helix. So the remaining op remaining options are seen. How do you work with it? how we work with so this is how to work with the cylindrical cone helix tool okay now let's come to the axis so axis means uh, we need a central axis to make the helix as far we want as for example let me draw an axis here okay we okay, okay. Uh, self different plane I'm going to draw some middle line so this one acts as an axis okay now sell the helix tool again and sell the axis section so when you click on the axis it is asking the helix uh, axis so I'm going to select this other axis and you can see the helix is formed and in this axis section you can the turn angle 
but uh, you can't uh, uh, you can also sell the end radius also see the input types are same the turn speech start and conditions and we can also and we also you can also queue the starting radius or end radius the new uh, point is start radius and end radius that is the difference here as for example we give the start radius the start radius means guys the bottom one is the start radius and when you click on end radius the end radius is the different one you can see just like a cone shape you can create an uh, two different input headings using the axis section as for example you can also queue point one you can get a point section as you can also increase the height and you can also change the direction of height also see in this way you can you can get the point helix by using the axis section and the end radius also come and train and can also maintain the number of rotations and also change the clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations that is how to work with the it's radius and you can also know the mate connector as how we work with the extrude same like the mate connector is pointed over here okay that is the how to work with axis section and come to the circle it need a, a circle sketch see this is the circle sketch right so just select it and you can now perform the remaining operations here what is the difference between a uh, circle and cylinder is cylinder it is going to be worked only the start and end condition of only the according to the height of the cylinder only but with a but with the circle it can we can increase as much height you want see you can increase you can compress you can decrease the size or you can change the directions and it do not have any start and end radius okay that is the difference actually it is already mixed with the previous helix but due to the uptake it is separated from the uh, previous one if you watch the previous tutorials that uh, I have given in the description you can understand the difference about the previous helix tool and the updated helix tool okay and remaining tools are same the starting angle start condition and conditions are the same when give that is the point angle height and point okay that is you how to work with the helix tool guys if you really like this content and if you really understand what i wanted to teach you how to work with the helix curve tool uh, please do like share and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching